Yeah, hello and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft. Today I'm in the little wild bog here in the northern part of Jutland. There's a little lake here, but <clears throat> I don't think it's <clears throat> it's a natural made lake. I think it's because they worked here many years ago uh, taking up uh, sphagnum moss uh, and something we call turf, tow, that's used for fuel. Uh, they could put it in the the oven and then uh, burn them. But um, I'm here because I want to be near the water. I have a little thing that I will show you. I made this uh, almost three years ago, uh, so many of you haven't seen my little uh, uh, fishing kit. So I would like to show you that today and how I uh, set up my uh, fishing gear uh, in the, um, the uh, bushcraft way. Yeah. I was a little distracted because I saw two uh, uh, red deer over there. So on the other side of the lake, and uh, now they're gone. There's a lot of wildlife out here. There's uh, moose too, and wild hawks. Um, so I don't know what I can uh, meet here in the forest, but it's very cozy to be out here. Uh, even though the flies are very annoying, I think when I get my fire going, they will stop and the pipe also make a difference uh, when the smoke they they don't come so near to me yeah, now i'd like to show my little fishing wheel my fishing gear so you can see how i have uh, implanted it to work and uh, how i'm going to make a pole that I can use as a fishing rod so yeah and i made this little pouch for it uh, just a simple one i can open it here so yeah here it is, and has some uh, features here. The first, the fishing wheel. I would like to tell you a little bit about that later. And this one I made. See here, I can put this in, and uh, you'll also see what I'm using this for mm -hmm. in a minute. And together with this one, yeah. And then last these. So, but. This is made of uh, elder tree, uh, elder wood, uh, that is hollow, uh, and you can see I made this. And in here I have my fishing kit. It's a little bit different, too difficult to get out, to take out, but I succeeded. it. And on this, you can see here, I can put this one on. Yep, and I have a little split here that I can use so that it won't fall off like this. Can you see this? Yeah, I think you can. So, yeah. And um, then I have this one for the top of the fishing pole, the line going through this hole, and some hooks and so on that I can use. But uh, now I will tell you what I'm going to use this for and this. Yeah, now I, I found a dead tree or a branch that I can use for this. So, um, yeah, so it'll do. Then I'll put this on, I'll show you. Yeah, and I take this one, one of these strips. I use something else to put them on, but this is the easy way. So, and then one more.
this. Yeah. Then I have my, so that the line could go through this. And I just cut them off, like this. And remember to take this plastic with me home. Yeah. And now for the next step, it's in the other end of this pole. Yep. Where are we? Where are we? Here? Yeah. So, here, I'll use this one. Yep. And uh, make a hole here, I think. All the way through, and then I'll put this one in, so it's tight here, that's okay, and then this one I put in here, and then I have, yeah, and I have a fishing reel. So now I have to take the line to the top and uh, put some of these on. Then I, I cut such a one with a V so that the fishing pole can stand by itself, I hope. This, then, yeah. Then I try it. That's the way. Yeah, now I'm going to make my coffee and um, I have something to tell you about my little fire bowl. Um, so, I brought it with me today. It's also a, a bushcraft fire bowl you can use, but um, there was a little problem, I'll tell you that in a little while. First I have to find it. Yep. And then set it up. I must say there's a lot of flies here. You can probably hear them. Yeah, and uh, when I use this fireball, when I have used it, 
I also have my pot hanger system here, so I can put my uh, caldron or anything on top of this. So if you want to use it without the pot hanger system, then I and then I came up with this system. I bring it a little bit closer, so you can see uh, what the purpose is for this. And uh, remember, this is only a prototype. I made uh, quickly. Uh, the final product will be a little bit different, but three of these and one of these. Then I put them in here. And uh, there's these uh, slots here that are using. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. So now you can use it like this. Put your kettle on top, or a pan, or something else that you will cook. And there's plenty of room down here for firewood. So this is how I'm going to do it today. Make my coffee in that way. And it's the first time I'm using this, but I'm sure it will be a, a great success. And it works great, almost like a little bush box stove. And I think it's fast because I can hear it's almost boiling just after a couple of minutes. So that is so great. Almost boiling, then I have to be careful. Yeah. for a minute or so until the foam in the surface is gone. Yeah, I think that is okay. Put it here. Put the lid on so it doesn't cool off too fast. And then I think I'll just let this die out. Or perhaps just a little bit of flames to keep the box away. The flies is gone now as I predicted. But my little system works perfect. Yep.
Yeah, folks, this is all for now. I hope you enjoyed this little video from the little wild bog here in the northern part of Jutland. Yeah, it's going to be a short video now. I think my videos are getting too long, uh, so I have to... Uh, yeah, I think it's better that they are a little bit shorter. So I'm trying to do that. And uh, those of you who are interested in my fire bowl, or our fire bowl from Kuni, uh, you can see here, you can uh, submit your email for an uh, update on the, how it's going. And, uh, and I talked to the two guys down in Germany and uh, we are pretty close to, um, to have the final product and uh, we can put it in production hopefully soon here, uh, first in the after, first in the autumn. So I really hope that many of you have told me that they want to buy this if it's on the market and uh, I'm so grateful for that yeah now I'm heading home it's been a wonderful day I didn't catch any fish I didn't <laughs> thought I would because I, I'm not sure there's many fish in this little pond but uh, it was cool to try my little fishing wheel and I hope you like it too yeah take care everyone hope to see you again on the next one bye bye